for shear walls you can also use either auto auto fiber approach or you can uh, make your fiber or divide your shear wall leg cross section uh, into your own number of fibers right so uh, let me quickly draw a shear wall this is a plan view so maybe uh, this particular uh, option should work for me so let me quickly go and uh, define a section wall section so this is my wall one section let me just select or review its material it is a 12 inch wall so let me just select this particular option and draw one wall let's say this one this example wall in this 3d view it should be visible here this one so uh, first we have to actually provide the amount of steel in this in this shear wall because it is a requirement or starting point of the fiber modeling approach in the conventional analysis we don't provide steel when we define the cross section of a shear wall we do not provide steel there unlike column right so the option is there uh, i can select that particular uh, wall let me select this wall so it is selected one shell four edges selected i can go to assign and then shell and then you can have an option here reinforcement for wall hinge right so first i'll provide reinforcement here and then the very next option is the wall hinge right so once i provide reinforcement i can directly assign the wall hinge option and program will make those fibers for you so let me go for reinforcement for wall hinge and in that you have three options from current design it assumes that you have run the design of shear wall already uh, auto design so if you go for this option you must run the shear wall design first program will take the steel from there otherwise you use the uniform rebar ratio which means that you directly give the row value and program will assume to be distributed uh, it to be distributed Uh, uniformly along the leg of that cross section vertical and horizontal rebar you can give directly the rebar ratio as over bd third option is that you yourself define the rebar layout and then program can divide it into fibers and in that if i click more a new form will appear which which will give me the flexibility to actually give each and every rebar as it is available in the structural design or final structural drawing right so all the geometry and they, there can be a start zone and an end zone because generally in shear wall legs at both ends there is a different amount of spacing of rebars and in the middle it's different so please try to understand that form it is very simple it is simply asking you the amount of rebar in different uh, along along different lengths of that shear wall leg and then the material which should be associated with that rebar right so once you fill that form the rebar information is saved in that particular shell element right this will be used to divide it into fibers so i click okay and then i click okay so now whatever was the default uh, steel in that form uh, it is now assigned to that rebar i'll select that again and this time i go to a sign shell and now wall hinge right so program knows that steel already so there is an auto fiber pm3 option this is the only fiber hinge which can be given to a uh, to a shear wall leg right so this is the only available thing so then you can click add and then just apply and click okay so no uh, relative length here whole shell element will be divided along the full length or full height of that that uh, shell element right so unlike columns where you can uh, specify a certain length of the column for which you should have a fiber modeling here the whole sh uh, whole shell element will be divided into fibers so i click apply and then click okay so okay i think 
let me select that again actually it is already assigned right so therefore it is written w11 auto fiber pm3 now i can always go back and again review that that uh, shear wall leg uh, auto fiber which is developed by the program so i go back there and in the generated properties option w1 h1 uh, fiber section for that shear wall leg is automatically defined i can modify that to review so you can see here this is the leg which is uh, uh, for that particular shear wall and you can see some are concrete fibers some are steel fibers and then again concrete and then maybe again steel so one concrete one steel and you can see here that uh, sometimes the spacing of uh, fiber is less sometime it is more in the middle it is more towards the end it is less so whatever rebar layout you provide program will divide it to make fiber section right so that's that's how you will be defining the auto fiber sections for your shear walls right for uniform option program will just equally uh, space all the steel and concrete fibers but i would recommend that you always go for uh, your specified rebar layout right 